Billy and Bob went to their forest camping house for their summer holidays. Oh, the night sky is so beautiful. Yeah, I wish the stars would reach the ground. Bob, did you see the jumping light in the forest? Hmm, where? Come on, let's find it. Billy, there it is. <laughs> Where the light has gone, Bob? Uh, it's gone, Billy. <laughs> Bob, this way. We have lost the light again and I am tired to run anymore. Maybe someone is playing a joke on us, Bob. <laughs> now you <are> talk. <laughs> it is Willow, the wisp, a queer little mite, a tiny mischievous fat sprite. He will let you astray in the marshlands at night if you follow the gleam of a small dancing light. Oh, they are still following me. Billy, I am tired. We need to take some rest. Okay, Bob. Let's rest. Mm. Under the tree. They sleep in the lap of a tree. The prankish below the wisp lures Billy and Bob deep into the enchanted woods of Nod. There, mm. bewildered and weary, they go to sleep. Oh, they're resting. Shh. Quiet, please. As they rest in the arms of the kind old tree, Willow the Wisp thinks of a joke to play on them. He fills his hat with water. I really trapped you with this. Raining. Oh no, I'm soaked. <laughs> oh, there you are. I will have to punish you for this, young man. I hate to do it, but it hurts me more than it does you. When the old tree walloped Will, Willie wept and wept until in tears he almost drowned himself, the poor unhappy little elf. For as he cried, the rising tide of tears, flowing far and wide, made all around the marshy ground a salty flood. The rushing sound of waves of sorrow filled the night, engulfing everything in sight. Billy, a flood! Or you will drown us all in tears. While splashing around in the sea of emotion, Billy and Bob are struck by the notion. Cry when your heart does not make you feel better. It just makes your eyelashes wetter and wetter. Shut up, 
somebody. So, explaining the idea to Willie for a while, they dry up his ocean of tears with a smile.